name is uh, Anthony, just uh, leaving the office to go to the Lail refugee camp. So we've arrived in, in Belal refugee camp where there are an estimated 12,000 uh, South Sudanese refugees as well as some internally displaced people from here in Sudan. People are living in, in very tough conditions close to each other and physical distancing is challenging. They may not have access to all the water and soap that they need. We're uh, putting up posters in the market here and broadcasting messages around Corona. The children seem to understand, they understand a lot already about Corona. Yeah. How, how are they getting the information? They said uh, from the radio. So we're here at the, at the World Vision uh, Clinic and they're actually doing uh, hygiene awareness but also hand washing. Now we are in front of the isolation center. We're delivering hand sanitizers, soap, tank and then chlorine. The school is closed because of uh, coronavirus. Hopefully it will be open in uh, September. It's been a very um, interesting day and we've seen that people face enormous challenges, whether it's access to water and sanitation. People have some access, probably not enough access. It can be encouraged. People are more aware of, um, of corona. They know the symptoms. And certainly many of the children we spoke to know what to do. They, they know what behaviours are necessary to reduce the likelihood of being infected by corona. So I think moving forward, the big challenge is how do we help people achieve that behavioural change? so that we see even more physical distancing and even more hand washing.